just when it looked like the ship was going under, the Vikings come sailing into Green Bay, winners of two straight, and battling to stay afloat in the NFC North. It was a painful, forgettable first half of the season for the Packers, but after last week's upset win in Atlanta, Brett Favre tries to keep it rolling tonight. Vikings last week on the ground against the Giants averaged less than a yard per carry. Johnson out of the shotgun. He's going to step up. He's going to run for the first down and get it. Out past the 40 and slides to a halt. The first year for the Vikings without Randy Moss. Traded to Oakland in the offseason. Pump fake and then is his hand coming forward. There is no whistle yet and for the moment and it's recovered by Brian McKinney for Minnesota at the 41. to be a 49-yard attempt for Paul Edinger who's 48-yarder won the game last week at Giants Stadium. And that kick is a low kick that doesn't get there. After a couple of games with a rib injury, out of the backfield, and Favre starts to stumble. So Brett trying to turn to his left. He began to stumble, and Erasmus James. Ben Light, he said, here we are talking about San Juan Gatto after a two and seven. Second down and nine, fake to Gatto. Favre is going to stop and come back and buy time. And that is vintage Favre, and it is caught by Gatto. A legend in the making. He gets a couple of runs. From the 19, and that time, Gatto can't get out of the backfield because Pat Williams, the ex-Buffalo Bill, inside the 10-yard line. Third down and six. Five. To the outside, you've got a flag, and it's caught by Driver for the touchdown. So assuming it's not offensive interference, Green Bay will be on the board. So Illegal contact, number 21. Defense. Right now with the Minnesota Vikings at the 45-yard line. First and 10, Brad Johnson with the deep drop. And time. And going down the right side, and it's picked off at the 29-yard line by the rookie Nick Collins. Four-man rush. Five in trouble. Five's going to go down at the 37-yard line. That's Lance Johnstone. Six minutes to go on the half. At the Green Bay 45-yard line, Johnson. And down he goes, and that's Aaron Campbell. Third down and three at the 25-yard line. And the odds are very good because Chapman makes the catch. So you wonder when you're eating pie, the guy from standing in this? <laughs> it's a good thing to think about while you're having your crowd. From the 39-yard line. And that is picked off. Devontae Edwards picks it off, and Devontae Edwards is inside the 10, and he somersaults into the end zone. He is a rookie out of North Carolina State, a free agent, reading a story about him this week. He says, I'm dreaming about this. I get to play against Brett Favre. It's Monday Night Football. What a chance to make a name for yourself. That's a dream come true right there. Right, and you say, how is Devontae Edwards in there? He's number 36. He's the dime of cornerback. He makes a pretty good move on that. He goes back, goes back, reads Brett Favre, gets a pretty good jump on it. You wonder if he was down by contact that, before he got up there. That, the last two minutes is no challenge. It has to come from upstairs. It has to come from the replay official. It's two games, none on play. offense. The ruling on the field stands. We got a touchdown. I think at some point here, Brett Favre has to start throwing a little deeper, Al. Huh? Been a while. He's 13 to 17, but a lot of short stuff. And that's a little deeper to Donald Driver. In fact, it's a lot deeper. Touchdown. Donald Driver over the middle. That's good for 53 yards. To learn, Brett Favre is going to throw the ball in some tight spaces, and you have to fight for it. Second and four, try to ground again. Donald got off to a good start, then he fumbles. He fumbled twice last week, and he got away with both because Green Bay was able to recover in each instance in Atlanta. It looked like E.J. Henderson had recovered it. It did, but it's going to be Green Bay ball. Team cushion with six to go. And they already have beaten Minnesota once this season. And Johnson's going to go deep. And Johnson's going to put it right into the hands of Corin Robinson, who gets bumped and can't hold on. This is not a Brad Johnson down in distance. No, third and 17, and he loses the ball, and it's loose, and that's Aaron Cantman again forcing the issue, and Green Bay has recovered. And Aaron Cantman wasn't in there. 
To the 46 now on first down, and there's that man, Wiggins again, and look at Wiggins, like Ronaldo Nehemiah, a little hurdle move to the 29-yard line. What was that overhead? Camden is back in the game. Moore is the ball carrier. Moore is inside the 20, and Moore has a first down. Finotti is out, second down and goal. He's got to face him, and he's going to work his way across the goal line. I think no signal yet. Now you have one. Touchdown. Minnesota has it at the 32-yard line after that 88-yard march. They begin here with Johnson under pressure. Hammond got a hand on, and the pass is caught by Taylor. Hang on. Him. Taylor beats Harris on the play. First down at the 43. Moore cuts it back. Moore's going to get the first down, and Moore is out of bounds at the 21-yard line. All back against the green. Wiggins cut Harris off with a block on the play, and now some good tough running by Moore with a spin job at the Edinger now to attempt a field goal. This is a 24-yarder. Johnson to hold it, and the kick is good. You know what I said, and, and you see it more and more that but more of these games come down to the last two possessions. And this is Driver, and Driver is contacted, and you've got a flag. Chavis made contact first. with him. Number 21, defense, first down. Before he is done, unless he prematurely retires, he's going to hold a couple of the most important records in football, and then has this one intercepted by Brian Williams. So after the 37-yard pass interference call, Brett Favre back to throw, and Brian Williams makes the interception. And he probably won't carry it again. Second down and five. Favre goes to his second choice, and that's Lee. And then the other ten. Goes inside handoffs. Favre throws. That's caught. 30-yard line. You've got Andre Thurman. And it's eight tonight. Third down and ten from the 28-yard line. Favre into traffic and incomplete. Two big plays for Edwards tonight. 46-yard attempt. Sander to hold it. Long wall to kick it. And the kick is good. And now Brad Johnson has it at the 33-yard line. First and 10. And they go to Moore again. And third and the deuce. They pitch it to Moore. They try the right side. He's got the first down. Moeldy Moore. Vikings with one timeout remaining at the 49-yard line. That is caught. They go to Wiggins. He takes it to the 41. Moore's run for 122. Second down and two. Johnson. Johnson with a wide open Corin Robinson. Inside the 20. Taken down at the six for first and goal and now they can take the clock all the way down to the end. Green Bay is going to have to use its timeouts on defense after a 40-yard pickup and a first and goal. But if a guy's going to make one, you need him to make it right here, right now. October 23rd, the big comeback of 56-yarder. Vikings won it. So you're going to have a fourth consecutive game if he makes it between these two teams in the regular season that gets decided by a game-ending field goal. Edinger to try to win it. And the Minnesota Vikings, who were 1-4, Two and five, lose Culpepper for the season, have won three in a row, and are hanging in in the NFC North. And then Brad Johnson, who comes over from Tampa Bay to back up Culpepper, is now three and zero as a starter. As the Vikings win the game, twenty to seventeen, and we'll have the AutoTrader.com post-game show coming right up.